You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and welcome to another Team of the Week video. It is the 1st of May. Now a lot of you will be asking, is there a Team of the Season out today? It does not look like it as there is no mention of it on the EA forums. However, there may be something when the time this video goes up. I really can't promise anything as EA, you know, they do like to troll and do whatever the hell they like. So, there you go, that's my two thoughts on it. First off, in the game or in the team, we have Henderson from Liverpool as a left mid. I think the fact that he's left mid will actually hold his price back to below 100k if he was central I could see him going for quite a lot but unfortunately he is that left mid and there are plenty of very quick and very good left mids already from the BPL that are silver next up we have Untela Un from Schalke 86 shooting and 84 heading his best stats we have Osvaldo from Roma he looks like he may be a discard to a maximum of 20k striker from uh, Roma as I think I already said we then have Adams playing as a right mid for Stoke not sure if he's going to go for very much his pace is definitely going to hold him back with that 63 pace however he does have 86 passing maybe one you want to think about in the central position we have Tim Cahill from Red Bulls 66 pace and 80 shooting as well as 82 passing look at his heading though 91 that is something else Moving on, we have Inform Coutinho from Liverpool. 83 pace, 93 dribbling. That is something unreal. I can't believe that that's so high. There you go. He gets an Inform. We then have an Inform Diego. This time he's out on the left mid position instead of the central position. I'm not sure what EA are doing, moving so many central midfielders into the left and right midfielders, even if they did have an amazing game there. 78 pace, 89 passing, 90 dribbling. So some very high stats there. Now, the most expensive player of this team of the week is easily going to be this guy. It is Thiago Silva. 84 pace, 82 passing, 90 defending and 86 heading. He is going to go for an absolute ton. However, it will be a very risky purchase if you buy one because there is always a chance that he'll get into team of the season. So watch out for that. Very care You have to be very careful with your coins on buying that guy. Then we have Raul Albiol. He has 83 defending and 82 heading, but he only has 53 pace, so that's really going to hold him back. We also have Sergio Sanchez from Malaga. See there, the 71 pace. Looks like he may actually be a half-decent de centre-back. 81 defending and 81 heading. In goal, we have Costil from Stade Rene. He looks all right. 83 diving, 81 handling, and 86 reflexes, as well as 83 positioning. Moving on to the bench, the only goal player is Ben Teke. Now he's been moved from a silver player to a gold. Now, this is actually bad news for him because he is going to lose a lot of value because he is going to be such a low-rated gold. He's going to come out of packs in the hundreds and he will basically not be worth very much. However, I'm sure he'll still be an amazing player and a lot of people will enjoy playing with him. Moving on to the silvers first up, we have Bacardi, a goalkeeper. I believe he plays in Serie A. Let's just have a little look. If we can see, I think we have to change his status or something. Uh, so, player info. Nope, it's Serie B. That's why I was confused to think it was Serie A, because it's not. It's Serie B. There you go. There, he's got an inform. We also have Gossens from Feyenoord. Looks like he may be an alright player, but he only has uh, 68 pace. The 81 shooting, though, that looks pretty prom promising. We have a Korean in Koyohan. Looks all right. Uh, right mid, 74 pace, 70 dribbling. Then we have uh, Bay or Ribus from Terek Grovzniak. I believe is how you sort of pronounce it. Quite a difficult one for me to try and pronounce. Polish, 85 pace, 74 dribbling, 73 shooting and 70 passing. We also have Vaughn, a striker from Huddersfield, and he has 73 pace, 75 shooting, 70 dribbling, and 72 heading. And then the final player on this team of the week is McOsland, a Scottish player that's bronze centre-back, 60 pace, looks all right, 68 defending, and 68 heading. So, guys, that is team of the week. If I see a team of the season video or a team of the season leaked, I will go and obviously show you guys as quickly as possible. But until then, if you could drop this video a like, that would be amazing, and I will see you all next time. Next time.